Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I thought instead of uh, malware, what we're going to do is we're going to try, and I don't know if this is going to lead to positive results or not, copying the Windows folder from Windows 7 to Windows 11. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work as intended or not. So what we have on this system is Windows 11, Windows 7, and also a bootable drive for Pop! OS. The reason we need that is because Windows 11 will not let us overwrite its own Windows folder while it's booted. Windows 7 in theory could, but for one, it's a BIOS install, so it wouldn't work. And for two, the problem with that is that Windows 7 will respect Windows 11's permissions, so we would have to kill all the file permissions to make that work. So we don't want to update because we don't need to update, so we're just going to shut down. And then I'm going to use a VMware function to power onto firmware. Which will allow us to select the CD drive instead of the Windows 11 hard drive. So we go here. Let's... There we go. Waiting for connection. And it says Windows 10 because Windows 11 isn't supported in this version of VMware yet, but it works perfectly fine. There we go, Pop! OS. It's also, you can now see how... Because someone commented on my last video, I don't know if they were trolling or not, how did I upload the video because my computer... Like, no, I use VMs. I've never... I don't run malware on my own system. This is VMware tier. I use Arch Linux on my main computer, and I also have a single GPU pass-through setup that I use for Windows for gaming and editing videos. If, I was thinking showing that off might be a good 1,000 subscriber special. Maybe I should do that. So we're going to turn up the resolution here. I don't want to install it, I just want to use this. You can get up to 14. And just so you can see this, I'm going to make this 200%, which is a bit big, but it isn't going to cause any problems. Whereas if I make it small, you're not going to be able to see what we're doing. So now what we need to do is mount both of these drives. And we want to take... So let's just rename this to Windows 11, because I'm not going... I am going to try and fix this. And now we just need to go to Windows 7 and copy and paste. Vote now if you think that this is going to boot. Let's see how long this is going to take. So we can't copy special. I don't know what that file does. I have a feeling this is going to end badly. Okay. So it says that it's done. So I guess the only thing we can do now is find out if this was a good idea or not. So let's click restart and let's find out. I think we may get a bootloader error, so if we get that, we can just... Oh! That's... a fault. And let's just... Let's do that again and see if we can... get that. That's so weird. I think it's just the bootloader. I think it's just the bootloader. Because it's a problem. Yeah, it would have the the Windows 10 bootloader. So now I just need to remember how you rebuild the BCD on uh, Windows 7. Okay. So there's sort of two ways of doing this. What I always do is I don't even bother, you can do repair your computer but on any Windows installer, you can just do Shift F10 and then we've got this. So we want to do this part. We want to assign. We want to assign to our EFI system partition. Wait, what? Oh, right, this is... I think we have that set as an MDME. We might be able to fix this without too much problem then. Okay, that's even weirder. I think there's a Windows 10. Okay, so I'm gonna go disk port. And now we should see the disk we're looking for, which is one. Just go with Z. So 
so now we just need to um okay now i think oh it's because i capitalized z and that should oh what <laughs> okay i mean I, I don't have a face scan but like my jaw is dropping is this a Wait, does this actually work, or is this... Is it booted off of... Which drive did it boot off of, though? Did it... No, it, it is booted off of... I'm, like... I, I don't even have... Words to, like, express the amount of shock I have that this actually... Okay, let's try... Does this actually... the fuck? Does... Okay. Like... I mean, I guess it shouldn't be that surprising, because all this- pretty much everything is self-contained in that folder, but... You, you would never expect... Wait, is it remembering the high DPI settings? Okay. So we got... Eh, that doesn't work. Okay, that program can't still, even though there is a Windows 7 version of it. I guess that's the next thing to try is like, okay, Chrome still works. Internet Explorer, because that's going to be... No, because... That... Does Chrome... Chrome launches... Let's try VMware tools, because I think we still got... That probably won't work, because that wasn't... Like, oh my... That's... Okay, that's something special, that that actually worked at all. Like, VMware, okay. Let's see, where's it? I'll just run in here. Okay. So... Does the Internet Explorer... It does work, because the real Internet Explorer on Windows 7 is not in program files. Now, let's see. Given that version does exist for Windows 7, let's also try and make this a bit bigger. Okay, we can't because VMware Tools is broken and I don't really want to screw around with this too much. Okay, let's just try basic stuff like Winver. Windows 7. Okay. Downloads. It's just, okay, let's go here. So it doesn't see anything as wrong. So. Wow. I guess, I guess that answers the question. Okay, so let's try more applications. That one just throws an error. All of these have 10 in their versions, and they don't work. Nope. WMP share, no. Even the older looking ones. Okay, these are probably not going to work, but um, media player, because 7 media player is installed in the Windows folder, it works fine, but Windows Photo Viewer, no. I think I think that might actually run a DLL by default. Okay, let's try. Let's see, do we have any? Do we have any sample? Unresponsive. Okay. So let's see. Do we have any any files? Oh, we definitely do on the. We can go into the Windows Seven Drive and my pictures empty. Videos. Okay, maybe we really public. Okay, but let's just go and pick seven downloads and pictures because I want to know. I want to know like if this, if those basic, because if those are broken, like so far, 
Okay, that doesn't work, so we can't install the edge. Okay, let's just let's just Google image this, because I don't really I don't care what we download. It doesn't matter. Just wanna see if it works. And it does, because I think uh, the actual photo of your application is a DLL, so that works. So, okay, Defender. No way that's going to run. Digital Signature. I don't know if there's a way around that, but... Well, it's probably, it's compiled for the wrong version, so it's not going to work. Got .NET, Redis list, nothing interesting in there. Uh, okay, Edge, which is unable to start correctly. Okay, let's go up. PowerShell. We have PowerShell, so let's let's try run. Okay, that's the IDE. I think that's, that's definitely not the new PowerShell, but that works. So, okay. Let's see what else is here. System tools. Okay, that's fine. I thought for a second that'd be, that'd be bad if even Task Manager was broken. Edge, of course, can't start. Immersive control panel. I don't know if that's... Oh, it kept the icon from 10. Immersive is probably settings, which of course doesn't exist anymore. Okay. All of these are here. System tools. IE. Private character editor. Ease of access. Accessories. Notepad. That works. So I think that's pretty much everything to test so far. This is super weird. I was honestly not expecting it to work. I, I had was thinking like there's no way we're going to get this to even launch. But no, if you fix the boot files, it works and it works perfectly well other than applications that were installed before which don't work because they were built for 10. Maybe some of them do, but if it's a Microsoft application or something that's built for that library and the other problem I just remembered is because the registries in the Windows folder were also replacing that so please subscribe if you enjoyed it